I am excited. We're here for our eighth year of the Advance Global Australian of the Year Awards. Award winners, partners of Advance, friends and international guests, it is fitting that we recognise Australians doing incredible things overseas. So thank you all for being here to help us celebrate. Thank you, Auntie Millie Ingram, for your welcome. And I too acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Euro Nation and pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. My name is Yasmin Allen, and as Chairman of Advance, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all here tonight to celebrate Australia's global talent. Particularly in this climate of geopolitical turmoil and global slowdown, it is important that we recognise Australians across diverse sectors who are forging their own way, creating value and making an impact. Tonight, you will meet 13, 11 of whom are here in the room, extraordinary individuals and learn about their achievements offshore. They are a diverse and impressive cohort like the one million Australians currently working overseas and the two and a half million global alumni who came to Australia for an education and left here with Australia in their hearts. They are our diaspora. The definition of diaspora is communities which live outside but maintain links with their homeland. Advance seeks to be this link whether it's ideas, IP or people, we find pathways home. And we do this because we believe in Australia. And we believe it is our people and talent who will cause Australia to thrive. It is enormously to Australia's advantage that we have a talented, energetic and highly successful diaspora. Advance is building out this global network, spanning 110 countries, connecting our diaspora and their thinking back home for the benefit of all Australians. Our endeavours have enjoyed consistent bipartisan government support. The Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, is our patron and I warmly acknowledge our partners here tonight from the Department of Industry and DFAT. Advance collaborates with the many government initiatives that exist around the world. We leverage the combined efforts of our international chambers of commerce, DFAT, Department of Industry and Austrade. Our one purpose is to find and recognise extraordinary Australian talent and we do this for a good reason. The economic potential of our diaspora is tremendous. They create new businesses, stimulate trade, and transfer knowledge and skills. The World Economic Forum and the Brookings Institute in Washington have conducted research looking at the social ties of diaspora and linked that with patents or patent applications. And broadly, the smaller a country's population, the more important its diaspora, as larger countries already attract innovation by way of investments by multinationals. In a recent Lowy speech, Lowy Institute speech, our Prime Minister said, Australia needs to defend its interests, its jobs and living standards. In my view, innovation and talent will empower us and enable us to choose our economic destiny. And a vital component will be tapping into the knowledge of our expats. Tonight, our winners are leaders in their field in genomics, finance, research, commercialisation, energy, and food and agribusiness. Already, this cohort of game changers are discussing how they can help Australia. Advance repatriates knowledge. This year, Advance board member Michelle Garneau, AO, formed our inaugural Asian Advisory Committee. Aligned with Australian government priorities in our region, this group is available to advise and forms part of our soft power conduit across the dynamic cities of Beijing, Shanghai, Bangkok, Singapore, Jakarta and Hong Kong. I acknowledge Michelle's leadership of this committee as it helps advance, harness the, our Asia-based expat talent. 
and forge relationships with business, government and our universities. Advance delivers this in the absence of a formal diaspora policy. Unlike countries such as Ireland, New Zealand, Canada and Israel, who all leverage their diaspora with intent. Tonight, Advance calls out to government, let's do more. Let's not only celebrate our diaspora, let's develop a policy that engages with them and encourages them to share their thinking back home. Picture this, an international Australian in residence at our tech hubs such as Lot 14 in Adelaide, Stone and Chalk and CSIRO, or an international Australian advisory board for research commercialisation, for example. It is already to Australia's benefit that many of our international students hail from Asia. We know that people-to-people -people interactions help deepen Australia's bonds with our neighbours and secure a mutually beneficial and prosperous future. Our past award winners are called Global Game Changers. We now have a powerful network of 70 Game Changers. Advance will work with these Game Changers for the benefit of Australia. We are the only organisation that does this that seeks to build connections home. And to explain, let me tell you just one story because she's here in the room. Advance Award winner, Dr. Genevieve Bell, our 2016 Advance Technology winner, was living in the US working for Intel. Following her award, and thanks to the foresight of ANU and CSIRO, Genevieve returned home to a national role carved out for her at ANU. She established the 3A Institute benefiting hundreds of university students who now have the opportunity to learn leading edge AI technology. Genevieve, as I said, is with us tonight and she'll be presenting later on. Yeah, I oh know. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm proud that as we celebrate the achievement of global Australians and alumni, we also kickstart another year of our mentoring program. This is what, for me, makes these awards so special. Our award winners win the opportunity to mentor a young Australian chosen from hundreds of applicants, all keen to accelerate their learning through 12 months with these inspirational role models. This program epitomises Advance's purpose. We repatriate knowledge. Advance works with leading Australian companies who support our work. And I thank our major partners who are here tonight, National Australia Bank, GE, and Atlassian. I also acknowledge Gilbert and Tobin, Spencer Stewart and IAG who have supported us over many years. These companies share our vision. We all believe in the power and the ingenuity of our diaspora and that as Australia's future will be enhanced through connecting and engaging with our most important natural resource, talent. Advance works with a small team and an honorary board. We also have a network of volunteer Advance ambassadors across major global cities. Tonight, I would like to acknowledge and thank our ambassadors in the room. So please stand up when I mention your name, because they've all flown in for this at their own cost, obviously, low cost operation. Uh, Melanie Brock from Tokyo, 30 years up in Tokyo. Oh, Melanie. <laughs> the Honourable Jeannie Lopez also 30 years, based in London, and Dr. Jeff Raby, who's here from Beijing. Thank you for everything you do for Advance. As you know, our CEO of 10 years stood down this year, and I thank Serafina for her dedicated service to Advance and to her country during this period. I also welcome Maria McNamara as our new global CEO based in Australia. Maria comes to us with a wealth of experience across professional services, not-for-profits, and the startup community in Australia. In fact, Maria was recently voted by her peers as the most valuable person in the startup community in Australia at the StartCon Awards. Maria will address you later this evening. So let's get on and celebrate our incredible international Australians and our alumni of Australian universities who together make up Australia's diaspora. Thank you. Thank you.